Hi Booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be an extremely rare unhaul. Yes, that's right, I'm going to get rid of some more books. Um, I hadn't been planning on doing this, I'm not feeling like my shelves are particularly full at the moment. But on Facebook this week I saw an appeal from a local charity uh, who were looking for donations and they specifically requested fiction paperbacks. And I thought, you know what, this is a sign that I need to sit down, have a look at what I've got and be brutally honest with myself about some of the books on my shelves. So that's what I'm doing. I have already gone and picked them all out. I have them all here. Um, so I'm just going to go through them with you one by one and just... I mean, pretty much most of them, the reason is likely because I'm never going to read it again or I'm never going to read it at this point. So let's all just have some honesty with ourselves, shall we? The first three books have come from my middle grey shelves. Now, I don't have a lot of books on there anyway that I haven't read. The majority of them are either Harry Potter or books that I read as a child and that I will not get rid of, whether I'm going to reread them or not, I'm just not going to get rid of those. Some of them were given to me by grandparents and family, and they just hold great sentimental value, so they will be staying regardless. Um, but there were three books that I looked at and went, you know what, it's time for them to go. The first of those books is The Beast Within. Um, this is... Um, it's a retelling. I think it's a telling of Beauty and the Beast. Now, I love Beauty and the Beast. It, Belle is my Disney princess. I'm wearing my Disney princess t-shirt today, uh, so <laughs> that's fitting. Um, but yes, again, I haven't reached for it. This has been on my shelves for about four or five years at this point, and I'm not going to pick it up anytime soon. So let's give it away and let it find a home where uh, someone will enjoy it um, and hopefully love it for the story that it is. Apologies if you can hear some semi-desperate meowing in the background. I've not long been home from work. Uh, my cat has had her evening meal and now she wants some attention and fuss because she's been alone all day. So I can't blame her really. Uh, but yes, if you hear meowing in the background, she's trying to convince me to sit down instead of talk to you guys. The second book from my middle grade shelves is Evernight by uh, Ross McKenzie. I picked this up um, back in 2020 when I went on reading retreat um, up to Yorkshire and I picked this up in Grassington. Uh, I didn't read it until a couple of years ago. It was okay, it was enjoyable. Um, it is the first book in a series. It's about uh, an orphan. Um, who treasure hunts and then she stumbles into a world of magic and danger and it was good it was fun in the moment but I have never felt uh, the need to continue the series um, and at this point probably not going to so yep yeah, this is definitely another one to go on the unhaul pile. The third and final book from my uh, middle grade shelves is As Old As Time um, by Liz Braswell. This is uh, another Beauty and the Beast retelling. It's from the Twisted Tales series. Um, and this is from the point of view of what if it was Belle's mother that had cursed the beast. Again, I mean, as much as I love Beauty and the Beast, I think I prefer more adult retellings. And by adult, I mean romance with some steam or some spice um so again i haven't reached for this in the four or five years that it's been on my shelves i have thought about reading it many times and just never picked it up so yep this one's going to go as well now we're going to move on to my shelves that you see behind me um they are in a little bit of disarray this pile here is um from tbr so that's not because I can't fit them on the shelves. But as you can see, they are in a little bit of disarray with them piled up. Um, and you can't quite see the top shelf. But the top shelf is hardbacks. And that is full. And I have another three paperbacks on order that aren't going to fit. So I need to rearrange that. Um, and I maybe need to bring some of my hardbacks down a shelf. So this is where I had to get tough. 
and I had to make uh, decisions that um, and be honest with myself basically so the first one is one that I was going to unhaul I can't remember if it was Christmas this year or Christmas last year and that is Christmas at the Palace by Giovanni Charica it's a Christmas based romance um, that I had in a book box a few years ago um, and I don't pick it up I don't tend to pick books up based on the time of year and to be, if I'm honest I don't actually pick up books based around Christmas not deliberately based around Christmas anyway so another one for the um, charity to try and find a new home for the next one is The Paper Palace by Miranda Cowley Heller. This is one that I bought for the Cozy Book Co. I did read it. I did go to the uh, book club meeting. I did enjoy it. Um, I identified quite hard with some aspects of this story. Uh, this is um, a, it's, it's a, it's a story about a woman who is cheating on her husband. Um, and while that is not a trope that I pick um, very often because I could in a way empathize and, and understand the point of view of the main character it did resonate with me this book but I'm not going to reread it I've read it once um, and I think that was enough so yes bye bye to the paper palace the next book is one that I haven't read yet. Um, it's one that I thought would be up my street when I got it, but actually the longer that I have it on my shelves, the less convinced I am. And that is The Imaginary Corpse by Tyler Hayes. It's a fantasy detective story with dinosaurs. Um, I don't really know how else to try and explain it. At first, it sounded quite intriguing, but... To be honest with you, every time I look at the synopsis, my brain is just like, this isn't for you, why have you still got it? So, yeah, um, I won't be crawling into bed with a T-Rex anytime soon. The next book is another one that I've read once and I'm not going to reread again. And that book is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. Again, I did enjoy it, but I'm not going to reread it. I haven't even actually picked up the sequel. I know there is a sequel out and I've thought about it a couple of times. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen anytime soon. If I want to reread it, I can get it from the library. Lisa Jewell is quite a prolific suspense author, thriller author. Um, so my library does stock her and I can probably get the sequel. So it's not one that I need a trophy book for. The next book is another one that I've read and another book club choice, this time the Cliturature Book Club, uh, which is no longer going. Um, but this book is Twisted Love by Anna Huang. Um, I think this was just a mediocre for me. I kind of, I'm glad that I didn't pay full price. I actually picked this up in the works, I think. Um, and I picked it up when it was only like three, four pounds. So I only paid half price. I don't want to continue the series. I didn't particularly like the main characters. Um, it was just okay at the end of the day. I've got tabs in it which are going to come out. In fact, I don't even know what they are for or if I wrote anything on them. No, I think I just tabbed up lines that I was... Yeah, yeah, I, I, there's nothing in there that... Um, it needs to be kept so yes and i'm not going to continue the series and i haven't even been tempted by her new series even though among the romance community these say they see do seem to be quite prolific at the moment so yeah the this one's going as well the next one is another unread book box choice and that is autonomous by anna lee newitz again i'm not going to read this this is sci-fi and I'm not that much of a fan of sci-fi, to be perfectly honest with you. If I pick sci-fi, because of how much I like shows like Star Trek, I would probably pick a space opera, and even then, I DNF'd a space opera series. Um, so yes, sci-fi, not my thing. Can't even remember what it's about. Don't even want to reread the synopsis. So this was quite an easy pick, actually. 
um, when I got to this shelf behind me. The next one is an ARC and it came in a book box, but I am not going to read it. This isn't going to go to the charity shop because I know you can't sell ARC, so this is probably going to go out in the recycling box. But this is the ARC for Here the Whole Time by Vitor Martins. Um, it's a body positive queer love story. Um, it's, yeah, it didn't catch my attention. I didn't know it was coming in the book box. It was an added extra. Um, and it's not, I'm not going to reach for it. To be perfectly honest with you, I am not going to reach for it. I've had it on my shelves. It's romance. If I've had it on my shelf for as long as I've had this book, which has got to be five years now, I'm not going to pick it up. Simple as that. Romance on my shelves. I pretty much will read them straight away, unless it's my Kindle, because then I can't see them and I forget that I've got them. But on my bookshelves, I can see it every day. I still haven't picked it up. The next one is another unread one and at the time, I mean it's a book about books, it should be up my street but I haven't picked it up, I haven't reached for it and that book is The Binding by Bridget Collins. Um, again there's just, there's something fantasy-ish about it, I think it may be magical realism, um, more literary but it's it's been sat staring at me for well I think I bought it uh, around about this time in 2020 um, when shops could start reopening again um, so yeah just I don't know what else to say well how, how many times can I repeat myself I'm just not reaching for it so it's just not worth it the next three books are was uh, 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 one of the the reasons why I had to get real with myself, to be perfectly honest with you. And the, those books are The Blade Itself, Before They Are Hanged, and The Last Argument of Kings by Joe Abercrombie. They are the original three books in his, um, I can't even, First Law, First Law Trilogy. I read the first two, I read The Blade Itself and Before They Are Hanged and they were just boring. I was bored. I did not want to continue. I was trying to read along with Becca over at Becca and the Books and her Catch Up Book Club. She's doing the whole of his first law world um, and I was just bored and the, I was so bored by this book that I could not be bothered to buy this one brand new. I actually bought this one from a different charity shop, but this one is going back to the charity shop um, and they can sell it to someone who's going to love it because I am not interested in finishing this series at all and I am never going to reread it. And you know what? If one day my brain says, finish it, I can get it from the library. No brainer. Let's just get rid of it off the shelves, make some space so that I can get something that I do want to keep, um, like the Ruin of Kings series, uh, the Discord, Discord of Dragons, no Chorus of Dragons series. I'll get there in the end. Sorry, Jade, if you're watching. Um, I will get there in the end. Um, yeah, so first law, not for me. I was at my mum's this afternoon before I'm filming this and I said to her what I was doing, that I was, I had some books I was going to take to the charity shop and she actually said to me, I was on the way out of the door actually, I was on my way home and she said, no wait, hang on, um, I've got something you can take as well. So the next five books are hers and I believe they're in a series, I don't know if I'm showing you them in the correct order, but here we go, there is The Newcomer, The Postcard, Hidden Treasures, Coming Home, and A Seaside Affair, all by Fern Britton. Um, my mum read these, she did enjoy them, but she said the same thing as me, she's never going to reread them. If she does, she can get them on her Kindle, or she can see if the library can access them. Um, either way, 
she'd be more than happy and she's not sorry to see them go. So that's my 14 book unhaul plus five from my mum. So, and I also have, and I'll link this um, in the cards or down below. I also have um, a load of books from the unhaul I did last year. They are still sat on my um, book cart waiting to go to the charity shop. So I'm going to put all of those in the bag as well. Um, so I think I have somewhere between 20 and 25 books for the charity shop. A nice little haul for them. Um, so I hope they take them all. Uh, but yes, um, I feel much better. Now I have to spend the time rearranging my shelves uh, to try and fit new books that are coming on there. Sort out what I'm going to do about my hardback shelf. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So thank you for coming along to my uh, little unhaul. I know these are rare um, and even rarer are hauls because by the time I get round to hauling them, I've read them. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already and you want to see more of me in your feed, then please subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.